How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now getting solar panels installed on our homes is a huge project. Now I'm doing two different projects here this year. One's gonna be kind of a custom DIY solar pergola right here over the patio that I'm sitting on. And another is gonna be getting solar panels professionally installed on my home. Now from firsthand knowledge, I know there is a lot of different details you need to take into account when you're doing a project like this, either as a DIYer or as just getting a trusted professional. Now to help you guys along in this project, I called over Mark to go through the pros and cons of DIY and professional install. Mark has a great channel called The Top Homeowner and he's been doing a lot of different videos going over this exact topic to help homeowners make smart decisions. Also, once you get all that information, if you're like, oh, I just want to go the professional install, DIY is a little bit too much for me, you can look right below this video in the description and you'll see a link to solarviews.com. Now we're teaming up with Andy and his team over there to help you guys out where you can jump on, you put in some information like your zip code, go through a few different details on your home, and with that little information, they can start to give you that cost estimation. What size of a system do you need? How many panels are you looking at? What size in kilowatts of that system? And what's your overall annual production rate gonna be? Then if you really wanna dive deeper, you can say, hey, connect me with a few installers in my area, and then installers will reach out to you to get the ball rolling so you guys can see, is this a project you wanna do for your home, and do you wanna do it this year? So let's turn it over to Mark and he'll run us through those pros and cons. Solar panels can be a game changer for your home's energy consumption, but choosing between a DIY or a professional installation is a big decision. After all, making the wrong choice can lead to wasted time and money. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the pros and cons of each so you can make a decision that's best for you. First, let's talk about the biggest advantages and disadvantages of each type of installation method. And we're going to start with DIY. So clearly the biggest advantage of a DIY install is that it will save you money on labor costs, which can be a significant portion of your overall investment. Labor costs can typically be anywhere between 10 to 20% of the total cost of your system. Also with the DIY installation, you have a little bit more control over the design and the installation process. And that's going to allow you to customize the system to meet your specific needs. For example, you may want to install the panels in a location that's a little less common, like say the roof of a pergola instead of the roof of your house. With a DIY installation, you can do that, but professional installers may not let you. All right, so now let's talk about some of the cons. Installing a solar panel system can be dangerous, especially if you're not experienced with electrical work or working at height. These panels can be very heavy and awkward, so it's important to understand what's involved before you get started. And DIY installations may not come with the same warranties and support as professionally installed systems, which could leave you with additional expenses if something goes wrong, either during the installation or in the future. All right, so next up, let's talk about professional installations. So professional solar installers have the training and experience needed to design and install a solar panel system that's safe, efficient, and optimized for your specific home. You also don't have to learn about everything that goes into a home solar installation and do all the work on your own, which makes this clearly the easiest option. Also, professionally installed systems typically come with better warranties and support, which will give you peace of mind and added protection if something happens to go wrong. Now, on the other hand, professional installations can be more expensive than DIY installations due to labor costs and other factors. Again, typically installation expenses are going to average between 10 to 20% of the overall project cost. And with a professional installation, you may be dependent on the installer for maintenance and repairs, which could be inconvenient if they aren't available or responsive. Also, depending on how many installations they have in progress, you may have to wait in line for a while to get your system installed. Be sure to leave a comment on what your biggest questions are when it comes to home solar below, and Scott or I will do our best to answer your questions or maybe even create a follow-up video on that topic in the future. Now that we have the high level pros and cons covered, let's dig a little bit deeper into both of these options. First, if you're thinking about going the DIY route, you should evaluate your own level of skills to see if this is a project that you can take on yourself. Here are some of the skills and knowledge you'll need to have at a minimum. You'll need a basic understanding of electrical systems and how to work with them safely. And this is going to include knowledge of both AC and DC current, voltage, amperage, and electrical safety procedures. Since solar panels are typically installed on the roof, you're going to need some roofing experience too in order to ensure a secure and watertight installation. This includes knowledge of roof types, flashing, and ceiling techniques. And this probably goes without saying, but you probably shouldn't be afraid of heights. 
You'll need to be comfortable using a range of tools, including power drills and saws for the installation process, as well as various electrical tools to make all of the connections to your home. It's important to have the right tools on hand before you get started, since climbing on and off the roof to go to the store can take a lot of extra time. You'll need to have a good understanding of the solar equipment that you'll be installing, including the solar panels themselves, inverters, and batteries. And this is going to include knowledge of the different types of solar panels, their efficiency, and their performance in different types of conditions. You'll also need to be familiar with local building codes, permits, and regulations related to solar installations. And this is going to include any necessary permits and inspections before and after the installation. Now, if you're thinking about a professional installation, here are some tips that you should know when choosing a company to work with. Look for a company with extensive experience in designing and installing solar energy systems. You need to be sure to check their credentials and how long they've been in business, along with their reviews and ratings from previous customers. Ensure that the solar panels, inverters, and other components used by the company are high quality and meet industry standards. Choose a company that uses equipment from reputable manufacturers with a proven track record of reliability and durability. You don't want to be stuck with equipment from a company that hasn't been around very long and may go out of business before your warranty is over. You should also check if the company offers financing options that will help make investing into a home solar solution more affordable and fit into your budget. Also, there can be different incentive programs available that can reduce your costs as well, so be sure to ask about these programs when talking to these companies. You should ask about their warranty and maintenance options that they provide. Look for a company that offers a comprehensive warranty that covers not only the equipment, but also the insulation and the performance if possible. You should also ask if the company offers ongoing maintenance and monitoring services to keep your solar energy system running as efficiently as possible. Now last but not least, check if the company is licensed, insured, and certified to install solar energy systems to ensure that they will comply with local regulations, industry standards, and that you'll have coverage if anything goes wrong. There are a lot of different things to consider when it comes to home solar, so to help you with that, Scott and I have put together a list of links that can make getting a whole house solar solution a lot easier. So be sure to check out those resources in the video description after this video is over. No matter what path you choose, here are some final things to think about before you start your solar project. First, you should decide if your goal is to have your solar system cover 100% of your electricity use or just some of your home's energy. Understanding this will help determine the size of the system you'll need, which will directly impact the cost. For example, if you only want to have some of your energy needs covered, you can save on your energy bill and reduce your upfront investment. This can be a good option if you plan on expanding and or upgrading your system in the future with newer technology. Next, you'll need to decide where you plan on installing the panels. The two most common places for installation are the roof and the backyard. Both locations have advantages and disadvantages, but the biggest challenge for either type of installation is making sure you have enough room for all the panels and that they're in a location that has direct sun exposure through most of the day. Some shade can be fine, but the clearer the path is to the sun, the more energy the panels will produce. Also decide if you want to use solar power at night or in bad weather. Since solar panels can only work when they can see the sun, they won't create any energy when the sun isn't visible. So if you think you'll want to use solar energy at night or during bad weather, you'll need to plan on storing the solar energy in a power bank. And that's just basically a set of batteries designed to store extra solar energy for when you need it. Adding a power bank to your solar installation can add a significant expense to your solar installation, so you definitely need to weigh the pros and cons of this and decide whether or not you do want batteries to supply your energy needs at night. Taking the time to answer these questions is going to go a long way to choosing a system that you're going to be happy with for years to come. If you're curious about what solar brands perform the best, I put together another video that you could check out on my channel right here. Otherwise, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.